Huh! Wood! What is it good for? Absolutely! Everything! Sorry guys, couldn't help myself. Wood. What is it good for? Absolutely everything. G'day. Grant from Four Wheeling in New South Wales. Just thought I'd do a quick video on ply. Plywood. A um, couple of quick things. First of all, I want to give a huge thank you to everyone who's subscribed to my channel already. Um, only been up and running not quite a full year. Um, so the 150 plus subscribers who are already on there, big thumbs up. Thank you very much. I uh, wasn't expecting to have that many people interested in my videos, so I really do appreciate it. Thanks heaps. Um, second thing, to my biggest two fans, who are also the smallest two fans I have, um, Annabelle and Sarah, hello. Love you both. Thanks heaps for watching my videos, uh, Oinky and Pixie. So I thought I'd better thank you on here. Um, love you both, so g'day. Now, serious stuff, wood, plywood. I see a lot of things online where people want to build timber boxes, uh, drawers for the back of their wagons, on the back of their trays, basically anything where people want to use plywood externally, a lot of people believe they need marine ply. Now, uh, the misconception is that marine ply will handle water better, and it doesn't. It absolutely does not. I work in the timber industry, uh, so I can tell you for a fact, I'll put links below as well, so you can do your own research. The only difference between a sheet of CD non-structural ply, which you can use externally, and marine ply, is basically the quality of the veneer. So plywood is a bit like a wafer biscuit. It's just layers of timber, very thin timber that they glue and bond together. Now the difference between marine ply and this standard ply is you can see on the corner, on the edge there, there's a little chip out. If I spin it around, there's another little chip out there. Um, that's, that's typical with standard non-structural ply. If this was marine ply, so any marine ply generally where you're going to be shaping the hull of a boat um, and you need to be able to, to curve it to an extent, they don't have these pieces. It's, it's a better quality grade of timber veneer. Now this is more than sufficient for building drawers on the back of utes, drawers in trailers. I had a guy the other day that um, asked me about putting a section on his drawer bar. I think even on Facebook a few people have asked the question about how to fix marine ply to, to trailers. Now, certainly you can use marine ply. It's, it's, not going to, it's not going to be any worse than standard ply, but at almost three times the, the, the price per sheet, it's an absolute waste of money. You'd be better off buying standard ply and spending the extra on another tank of fuel or a case of beer or another tent. Um, save your money. As I say, the only difference is the quality of the veneers that they bond together so that if you're shaping a boat, and if you imagine that going around the hull of a boat, if you're planing and sanding, you wouldn't want knots, sections like that, to, to be chipping out of the front of a boat because then you'd have to fill it and, and more work. So other than that, they use the exact same adhesives. It's not a waterproof glue. Um, it may be water resistant. Got a plane coming over now. Cut. Seriously? You got the whole sky to fly in. So the, the actual glue that they bond the layers together with, it's exactly the same, it's exactly the same adhesive for standard non-structural CD ply as it is marine ply. There's no beneficial waterproofing characteristics. Um, you know, this will last you just as long externally as what marine ply will, providing both plies should be done like this. Seal the edges, so a good quality water penetrating um, repellent type sealer. If you can seal the edges and minimise the water ingress getting into those layers and swelling up over time, that's when a ply will fail and that's with marine ply or standard ply. It makes absolutely no difference. If you seal that edge, you'll get a lot more years out of it. Um, even paint it with a good acrylic exterior grade paint so that you've, you're almost wrapping the whole thing in, a, in like a, a layer of glad wrap if you like. Um, 
minimise the moisture getting in. This will last you just as long as marine ply. We've got display boards outside um, at my work that are in the weather 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. I've been there now for almost seven years and I think we've replaced two boards in that time um, because the water's got into the ends. Marine ply hasn't lasted any longer than standard ply. As I said, a sheet of that 2.4 by 1.2, um, nine mil thick, I think from memory is about 40 bucks a sheet, 50 bucks maybe. Marine, it's about 120. Um, and that's even, we sell it cheaper than the big green hardware chain. Um, and even at our prices, marine ply is still a lot more expensive. So we're happy to get marine ply in if people insist on it, but honestly, it's a waste of your money. So there you go, guys. I just thought I'd, I'd put it out there. A lot of people think that they need it waterproof. On the other hand, if you're building uh, drawers for the back of your wagon or the back of your ute, if you've got enough water that high up your vehicle that you're worrying about whether your ply is waterproof or not, you've got bigger concerns than your tray and your drawers. Honestly, if you've got water in the back of a Land Cruiser, forget the drawers, stick the car on eBay and get rid of it because you've got serious water damage. Just thought I'd throw it out there, guys, just letting everyone know. Um, yeah, because a lot of people do get suckered in a marine ply thinking that it's going to do better, a better job. Um, you can still wrap it in carpet if you want to put marine carpet around that or marine ply you can carpet both of them just the same but definitely no better waterproofing as i said i'll put the links below um, you can even google research it it's the same adhesive so thanks for watching guys hit the notification bell so that you're straight onto new videos as they come up and make sure you hit the like and subscribe button feel free to comment below Check us out on our Facebook page, uh, Four Wheeling in New South Wales, and our website, www.fourwheelinginnewsouthwales.com. Remember our motto, stress less, camp more. Thanks for watching, guys. Cheers. Catch ya.